the forehead of your robot. I had a dream that took me back to the eerie realm of the 1980s. In this dream, I stumbled upon an unsettling short 2D animated film that had been forgotten by time itself. As the dream unfolded, I became consumed by a chilling tale that still haunts my thoughts to this day. The dream began innocently enough. I was at a friend's house watching some television in the living room, alone in the dark. The film in question is about a young boy scout in his classic uniform, complete with a khaki shirt, shorts, and a wide-brimmed hat. His eyes were filled with wonder and excitement, as he ventured into an enchanting forest. The animation style, reminiscent of vintage cartoons, added an unsettling air of nostalgia. As the film progressed, it became apparent that the woods were not as friendly as they first appeared. The chirping birds and rustling leaves gave way to an eerie silence, and the colors grew desaturated, casting an eerie pallor over the scenery. The once bright sky darkened, as if the sun had been swallowed by the gnarled branches above. The young boy scout soon found himself disoriented, and lost in the dense labyrinth of trees. Panic etched across his face as he desperately searched for a way out. But fate had something far more sinister in store for him. In the distance, the chilling sound of maniacal laughter began to echo through the woods. It grew louder and more sinister with each passing moment, as if it were closing in on the lost boy. Slowly, three shadowy figures emerged from the darkness, their silhouettes growing sharper against the dimly lit backdrop. These three figures, clad in tattered clothes and wearing deranged smiles, were unmistakably the embodiment of pure evil. They exuded a malevolence that seemed to transcend the boundaries of the animated world. Their eyes glinted with madness, and their distorted voices whispered sinister promises of pain and torment. As the Boy Scout stumbled upon this horrifying scene, a sense of dread washed over me, seeping into my very core. The film's narrative took a chilling turn, as the three men surrounded the boy, taunting and toying with him. Their knives glinted ominously in the moonlight as they closed in, cackling with sadistic delight. What followed was a graphic and disturbing sequence that defied the boundaries of traditional animation. The violence portrayed was shockingly realistic, the screams of the boy echoing in my ears. The animators had captured every gory detail, every excruciating moment of the boy's torment, pushing the boundaries of the medium to the brink. Unable to tear my gaze away, I watched in horror as the boy scout met his tragic end at the hands of these unhinged murderers. The final frames of the film froze on their twisted grins, haunting me with their unsettling stillness. As the dream reached its chilling conclusion, I awoke in a cold sweat, my heart pounding in my chest. The memory of that lost cartoon from the 1980s lingered, itched into the deepest recesses of my mind. It felt as if a dark secret had been unleashed, a macabre creation that should have remained buried in the annals of forgotten history. To this day, I cannot shake the feeling that the dream was more than just a figment of my imagination. It felt like a glimpse into a world of darkness, where the line between fiction and reality blurred. Perhaps somewhere, hidden away in the depths of forgotten archives, this lost short film still exists, waiting to be discovered by an unsuspecting soul, ready to unleash its chilling horrors once more. <laughs>